Uh, hello again. Uh, in previous tutorial, uh, we have uh, completely designed the, this structure and including the detailing, but except the foundation. So now we want to design the foundation. Uh, for the foundation design, we use uh, safe software. Uh, and also we have uh, two, three options that we can uh, design uh, with which kind of uh, foundation is proper for this structure. But for because it's a, a low rise building, so we need uh, a very simple, uh, let's isolate it, uh, foundation. Uh, so for this, I want to export the data. Uh, go to the uh, here called export story as a save. Uh, this also we can check some deflection <coughs> of the slab there as well, but we're not uh, considering that in, in this software in this uh, story. So we can select the base, which is the uh, reaction force, and we want to consider the just dead loot and the live load uh, for simplicity but uh, you should consider that uh, other uh, load as well and we're not considering okay and we're not considering the combination so we can create a combination and check our work so now it asked me to save so i will i can go to save as an isolated foundation and now i go to back to the save software and i can go to here file uh, file and I can import that to my program. It take a while to export all the data. And I should ask that isolated foundation. Now here is the uh, floor, uh, the base, which is zero. Uh, now I can go to here to check the uh, list called join invisible. Called this one and now you can see H joint or uh, point is if I go to select it here and then you can see the load which is giving the dead load from the upper story is 600 kilonewton 603 and this one is also 119 so we can uh, get the total uh, load uh, if I use calculator calculator uh, list uh, this is the if maximum or six three plus uh, this is one nine seven so equal and now we have almost 800 kilonewtons from upper stories so we want to divide divide approximately we have the soil capacity is 200 kilonewton per square meters so divided divided by two so now totally it required about sorry 200 so about it's required about four square meters 800 divided by 200 which is the soil capacity so 400 so now we can uh, assume uh, we can assume this foundation is 2 by 2 and but uh, if I go to display here display shoe joint and I can go to dead load above and you can see the maximum load is in this region in this area or entire columns so I can uh, uh, what I can do is I can select this point again, this point again, and let's see. 850, and this is 300. So almost, uh, let's use calculator again, and 852 plus 365. So this is 1,000 divided by 200. So it's about uh, six meters or 6.1 square meters so what we're gonna do is we want to uh, use this one list 0 0.2 in one direction times two meters one direction so exactly this is okay now I want to uh, as example I want to design this foundation and then the uh, remaining parts you can do by yourself so now I have to define the materials I'm going to define materials. The previous material will come from the it has It's called Mat One, and I can call it. Uh, we used FC 500 psi, which is almost 34 kilonewtons. The compressive megapascal, the compressive strain, and this uh, for the uh, for the steel rebar we used uh, for the foundation grade 15. And now uh, we're gonna going to define a section slab and I'm going to call this slab to isolate it 
isolated foundation using uh, concrete 5000 psi and here choosing footing so the thickness is uh, we can assume each floor 10 centimeters and totally 60 centimeters this have 60 600 millimeter thickness in case it didn't satisfy the, uh, this load so we can change it okay and next we should define the uh, the column as well so we're going to go to section again uh, slab and make a copy of this it's called column or as a stiff element but like a pedestal column and using the same material but here we should use a stiff so the, the thickness is equal to the thickness of foundation now here we have a function it's called quick draw area around the point so we use the same it's not uh, it's a rectangle yeah and the length is uh, 2300 millimeters and two meter now i can click this point and you can see this foundation is created like this and the next is i want to uh, draw one more but i should use uh, the column the thickness is equal to the thickness of the uh, and the weight sizes that are equal to the size of the column it's 400 by 400. now we finished and the next we want to define the subgrade so we select these elements this uh, slab and we should go to the uh, here is called uh, assign shell and here's called uh, area spring in the previous version it was separate but now it's changed to the area now we have this soil you can see it's exactly giving uh, 200 so that means if i give uh, my own this is 200 uh, kilonewton then i should times 120 so that 120 is uh, the constant for the subgrades now one more time check so this about become to 14 okay and okay now in apply and the subgrade is assigned to the foundation uh, now uh, i can draw some uh, steps to design <clears throat> We can select and we can go to here and add strips even we can use uh, this one this boss called uh, draw design strips here so now i can go to select give the width is uh, the column strips is uh, start with left side both side so let me use one this one and uh, one in the B so we created two steps to design and now we finished we can go to save the model or run and then it required to save it so I'm gonna call it uh, isolated foundation save Now that the analysis is completed, okay, and uh, I can remove this one, and I can go to the uh, here. Uh, here I want to display, uh, display. I can display from here is called display soil pressure. The first thing we should see uh, the pressure is okay or not. So we don't have any uh, we always uh, have some combo and you can see uh the pressure is 180 so our is one 200 so it is okay it can satisfy the uh, requirements so now we can uh, go to the uh, design the foundation uh design the, the foundation uh, the so there is two automatic combination and we can design so this is the giving uh rebar this is a giving rebar and you can when you punch here so, yes this point and you can see the top bottom so the top is zero and this area top is also have some rebar 
and this is also top bottom. So what we're going to do is we also can uh, change the combination uh, by ourselves. Let's see, modify this one. Uh, modify this combination. This is 1.2, 1.6. It's okay. And the last one is 1.4. So this is okay. We can uh, uh, accept this in case if you want to change it, you can change it. So the next is we want to uh, create a detailing. And here you can select the detailing for your matte foundation, for your uh, isolated foundation. Uh, you can consider curtain, curtail alternative bars also in some uh, adding some extra um, reinforcement in the top bottom so we can extend this one to five percent 0.5 percent and okay and now we want to uh, go to the detailing and it's called this uh, the second one start slab matte formation detail check now it take a while to create the detailing so now the detailing is also completed and we can check the this is 3d and you can see the rebar is giving like this bottom and top uh, we can go to the plan and also the rebar configuration so uh, i think the rebar is quite large uh, we should uh, extend by using another uh, sort of foundation uh, that will be more better so now here is the uh, section how the section is looks like you can see uh, then you can uh, so finally uh, this is finished and you can uh, get this data or export this data to some uh, CAD software or even uh, in the earliest, uh, some latest version of the CSI detail, you can get to the CSI detail, as well as uh, uh, you can use uh, this one, uh, CSI uh, export, uh, CSI revit. Uh, you can use this one, also the Excel file, and you can create your own uh, detailing for the foundation. So this the all, and we finished uh, the entire uh, designing of the structure. Uh, column beams, slabs, uh, shear walls, and finally foundation. So that's all. And if you have any question, uh, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.